No Home Lab is an island, and secure connectivity into it is an incredibly important thing to have, especially for those times when your server decides to crash right in the middle of your date night. I can't tell you how many times I've been out to dinner only to see a notification from Uptime Kuma that something important in my network has crashed. Thankfully, Tailscale swoops in and saves the day every single time. I use Tailscale for remote access into my home lab, for creating secure connections between my home lab and John and Brandon's for DR replication, and even to hop into my parents' network to troubleshoot problems. This video is all about how we're using Tailscale why we're using Tailscale, and why you should too. Let's get to it. Hey there, home lovers, self-hosters, IT pros, and engineers. Rich here. There are so many ways to connect to your home lab from the outside securely. I've used a ton of different solutions in the past, but for the last few years, Tailscale has been our go-to because it's fast, secure, and free for home lab users. In this video, I'm going to show you how we set up Tailscale, how it helps keep us and our systems safe and accessible, and why it could be the perfect solution for your home lab or even your business without blowing your IT budget. Now, Full disclosure, Tailscale is sponsoring this video, but believe me when I say this, we've been huge fans of Tailscale around here for a long time before they reached out. So with that, let's get to a background on Tailscale. Founded in 2019 by former Google engineers, Tailscale was created to simplify secure network connectivity. They offer a zero configuration VPN service that leverages the WireGuard protocol to create secure peer-to-peer -peer mesh networks. Devices utilizing Tailscale can connect directly and securely regardless of physical location, which is a game changer for complex home labs or business networking tasks. What makes Tailscale stand out is that it essentially replaces traditional VPN setups like IPsec, OpenVPN, or clunky site-to-site -site tunnels with a single identity-based approach. Once you log in with your Tailscale account, any authorized device instantly becomes part of your private Tailnet. This eliminates the need to fuss over firewall rules, weird NAT issues, or complicated routing. Before I adopted Tailscale, I was a pretty dedicated OpenVPN user for client VPN connections, and for site-to-site -site connections, I relied on legacy IPsec tunnels. Those methods work fine in terms of securing connections between sites and clients, but they're not exactly painless to configure and use, especially if you're trying to maximize performance on lower power devices. In fact, I actually credit Brandon for giving me the gentle nudge to try Tailscale, and I quickly saw how it was far more performant than OpenVPN or IPsec tunnels for VPN connectivity. The beauty of Tailscale is just how flexible it is to deploy in your home lab. There are dedicated clients for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android. You can deploy it in a Docker container, on your NAS, and there's even a dedicated package for PFSense firewalls. If it connects to the internet, there's probably a Tailscale client or workaround for it. Let's dig into how I have things set up in my home lab specifically. At the edge of my network is a firewall running PFSense Plus. This singular box is the gateway to the internet for everything internally, plus it handles my layer 3 routing between different subnets. If I'm outside my network, maybe I'm on a mobile network, maybe I'm on hotel Wi-Fi, I need secure access back in. I don't want to open ports to the outside world just for management, so Tailscale is perfect for that. Now let's talk about Brandon and John. Between the three of us, we're replicating our data from our own respective TrueNest scale hosts between each other for disaster recovery. In the old days, I ran IPsec tunnels between my firewall and each of their firewalls. It worked, sure, but performance was capped by how much CPU encryption overhead we could handle. With a gigabit internet connection, I was only getting about 150 megabits a second for site-to-site -site traffic. Not the worst in the world, but definitely not living up to that gig link. As I mentioned earlier, I also ran OpenVPN for my mobile clients while traveling. This meant I had two different methods for connectivity, IPsec for site-to-site -site and OpenVPN for individual devices. That's two different systems to maintain, two sets of configurations, two sets of logs, and two places to troubleshoot if things break. Enter Tailscale. Now everything is consolidated under one platform. It's replaced IPsec tunnels and OpenVPN for remote clients. Thanks to Tailscale's mesh technology, each system can connect directly to each other without having to funnel all traffic through a central site. And because Tailscale leverages WireGuard, I don't pay the performance penalty that comes with software-based encryption overhead on older hardware. Here's how it all fits in my current environment. Starting with PFSense Plus at the edge. I installed the Tailscale package on PFSense, joined it to my Tailnet, and advertised the routes I want Tailscale to handle. This means that any device that's part of my Tailnet can securely reach into my subnets behind PFSense, no extra NAT rules or firewall configs required. Enter in Brandon and John's networks. John runs PFSense in his home lab, so he's connected up the same way I am. Brandon currently runs a Ubiquiti firewall in his home lab and runs Tailscale as a dedicated VM in his home lab, so we now have a full mesh of connectivity. And finally, mobile devices. My iPad, iPhone, and Mac all run the native Tailscale app. One click and boom, I'm on my Tailnet with full access to whatever resources I need. 
The primary purpose for site-to-site -site connections between me, Brandon, and John is for disaster recovery backups. We have a buddy system where each of us hosts backups of each other's critical data, fully encrypted at rest and in transit. If one of our home labs decides to go nuclear, we have an off-site copy to restore from. When we switched to Tailscale for this, backups got significantly faster and more reliable. We're no longer bottlenecked by CPU overhead of IPSEC, and Tailscale's NAT traversal means it just works even in funky double NATed situations or ISP setups like Starlink. Let's take a look at an example of the performance difference now. Let's test the real-world difference in throughput performance between my network and John's network now. John's internet connection is 500 megabit, so in a perfect world, 500 megabit is the fastest we could achieve in this test. I'll be using iPerf3 to measure network throughput between his network and mine with 10 concurrent parallel streams. The left command window's traffic will pass through the legacy IPsec tunnel we used to use, and the right command window over our current tailnet network. Let's kick this off. The results of the IPsec tunnel weren't bad, with an average throughput coming in at 282 megabits a second. Remember, John's internet connection is 500 megabit, so that's roughly half his connection speed. Let's run the same test to the same endpoint over Tailscale. And the results of the iPerf3 test via Tailscale resulted in a throughput of 403 megabits a second. Again, considering John's connection is 500 megabits, that's an impressive throughput difference between the two connection technologies. Now, if you're a home labber, you'll appreciate how often you need quick, secure access to your servers. Tailscale's free tier for personal use makes it an ideal solution for self-hosters who don't want to invest in complicated enterprise VPN solutions. But Tailscale isn't just for personal labs. If you run a small business or a startup, Tailscale also offers paid plans to give you more advanced features and management tools. That way, if you need enterprise-level compliance or advanced identity management, you're covered. For those comfortable with the concept of zero trust networking, Tailscale basically bakes it in. By default, devices only have access to what you explicitly grant them. Want to segment your lab into multiple subnets for dev, production, or backup environments? Advertise the right routes in Tailscale, set up your access control lists, and let Tailscale do the heavy lifting. So that's the story of how I went from juggling two separate VPN systems to simplifying everything with Tailscale. It's fast, secure, and for my use case, free. I can't recommend it enough for your home lab or even if you're a small business looking for a no-fuss solution for remote user access. If you want to give Tailscale a try, check out the link in the description below. Signing up for the free plan is a breeze and you'll be up and running in minutes. And if you're like me, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it.